Hello everybody, I am Shuffles and welcome back to Let's Play Portal 2! Okay, so... Wheelie has taken GLaDOS's place and has gone completely and utterly fucking insane and GLaDOS is in a potato battery and has been taken off by a bird. I do feel kind of bad for GLaDOS because... it's... You know, she's just a corrupt computer. She's not like, you know, evil as such. You know? And when I think back to it, if you remember the end, like if you watched my Let's Play of Portal 1, of course, I think, if I remember, we took Wheatley off of her because Wheatley was designed to make her kind of stupid and a little bit insane so essentially we took Wheatley off but I thought we threw him in the incinerator but obviously he survived somehow right, we need to find a way out of here and I have no idea how we're gonna get out of here ah oh, here we go god damn it I really didn't think that one out right did I alright let's go Let's just get the hell out of here. Great, so we've overthrown GLaDOS, and now we have to basically do the same with Wheatley all over again. Fantastic. Ah, boy. I guess I have to fall down there, maybe? Something like that? No? Okay, just jump down here then. What is this? Is this like the arse end of the facility where all the shit gets thrown or... Do not enter. Keep out. Condemned testing area. Do not enter. Great. Can I portal up there? I can't. Alright. Well, that's just fucking super. I really think Wheatley has forgotten who he is fucking with. If I could overthrow GLaDOS, I can overthrow that moron. Because he isn't exactly the brightest spark in the plug. <laughs> No, seriously, he's not the brightest fucking module ever created. He'll probably still be funny, though. In his own little way. Alright. God. You know what this is like? This is like fucking Doom 3 all over again. When you go down to the mining facility. This is what this is reminding me of. I can get up there. Alright. Oh. Well. This is certainly... Okay, that worked. Okay. Looks like we gotta go into the great big tunnel! Fun times! Oh boy. I think I know that shit by now. Keep out. Well, it's a bit late for that. If you ask me, just just a tad. Just a tad bit. Okay. I'm guessing we're going to have to go face off against Wheatley at some stage, but... 
I don't really see where this is going. Right now, I'm not sure. Like, I'm guessing that we're still trying to escape and that, but I don't really see what is uh, where this is exactly going. This is on. Okay. I have no flashlight because Wheatley was my flashlight. Little shit. Ah. See, here's somebody power that never had it before, and this is what happens. They go fucking insane. All right, I think I can get up there. No. Well, shit. To think. Oh my god! How did I not cough onto that? Son of a bitch! Welcome, gentlemen, to Amateur Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best, and you are it. So. Who's ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Pretty as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. So that guy's obviously the uh, the portal version of Troy McClure. Oh, I'm Kate Johnson. Okay. Oh, I'm Troy McClure. You remember me from some space sass. this nope are we really going to be doing this again <sighs> looks like it I have an idea it's batshit crazy, but it might just work. Ow. In the face. Okay, let's try this. Yay! There's a thousand tests that worked. every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. <sighs> bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of Mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Um. Um. We're really going all out, uh... Uh, yeah, we're, we're really going all out rapture here, aren't we? Mantis men, okay. Beep. 
La da 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 da. Hi, I'm Kate Johnson. Hold this place, and I am an absolute egotistic asshole. Zoom. Oh, well, I can do that. Uh huh. Well, that's just dandy. That's okay. So, I'm fine with that. Um. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. <laughs> Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Thanks. I have to fling myself across. Alright. Oh shit, wrong one. Here we go! Whee! Shit! Oh, you wouldn't want to be nervous of fights, would ya? You really wouldn't. Okay, flip the switch. Okay, I can't go that way, and this door is most definitely locked. Alright. Seems pretty standard, maybe? Yeah. So. I'd say this is pretty standard, alright. Alright. Well. Shit. So we just follow the jet flow. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. Great. Okay. This is madness. Absolute madness. Definitely rapture esque. Okay, can I could you let me out please? Alright, let's Ease. get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. <laughs> Thanks. What the hell are we dealing with here? Remember, this test is unsolvable without aperture science portable quantum tunneling device. If you have not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any Shaft 9 enrichment activities. Well, I've got my gun. Oh. So... What is this shit exactly? Oh boy. Oh! It's bouncy! Well, shit. I would never have guessed that. Hmm. Is this kind of like... Is this how all this began? Kind of thing? Maybe? I'm guessing that's what's happening here. 
Gimme. Hup! Okay, this is fun. Right, okay. What I'm guessing is going on here is that this was the facility the before it was... I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. Yes, you can! Oh yes, I'm guessing that this was the facility before what it was up above where GLaDOS was. So this is the old facility? That's what I'm guessing is going on here. Would I be correct upon saying that? And then they abandoned this and made GLaDOS. This is like typewriter shit. So <clears throat> we've kind of gone back in time, kind of thing. Not literally gone back in time, but For this is a very, death, very old facility. Particles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Okay! Great! Oh boy. Right. Um. um. Okay, so this. Right. Okay. That's fine. Okay, step one. Okay, so the block is. Yes, son of a bitch. Just bang bang. So we get to that. Grab the block. This is like going back to the basics all over again. Hup! Oh man. Like Flubber. Remember that movie? I remember watching that as a kid. Okay. This Whoa! <laughs> Shit! Well, I'll be damned. <coughs> now that's cool. Hup! Whee! It's just like Flubber. Uh, Robin Williams? Maybe? Robin Williams played uh, one of the main parts in that one. I used to like Flubber, it was a good movie. Okay! Badoing! Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this it's a lively one. And it does not like the human skeleton. Great! So, I'm going to just turn into jelly then. Because it'll probably completely just destroy my skeletal form. Or something like that. Science! All right. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. 
Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> okay. So I'm guessing that this guy... Alright. What I'm guessing here is that they made GLaDOS to continue his work after he went because his personality is very like that of GLaDOS. Am I right in saying that? So GLaDOS was created after... after him? Maybe? Am, am I on the right page here? Am, am I... Exit. Well that would be lovely, but it's not gonna work like that, is it? Uh, hang on! Huzzah! Woohoo! There we go. La 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 you make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. <laughs> what the fuck? Did that guy just really say that? <coughs> okay. I have no idea. Yeah, I do. I've got a great idea. Am I on the right track here? Huh. Now I'm covered in the shit. I've got an idea. I just need to see how I'm going to incorporate this idea. Okay, okay I'm, I'm on completely the wrong idea here. Right, okay, so we need to do that. Uh, splash is there. Allow me to go up here. Right, okay. And then do the same here. Aha! It worked! Right, okay. Next up. Yep. Well, I'll be damned. Still, I've got the right idea, yeah? And about 40 years to live. Okay, sounds good. Again. This isn't going to work, is it? No. What I need to do is bang, bang. Uh, okay, bang. So, okay, I do this, I bounce like a motherfucker, and then go straight into the portal, and 
Then do that. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it, so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. <laughs> You're definitely the male counterpart of um, GLaDOS. You really are. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh boy. <sighs> now, if you're part of control group Kepler 7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. <laughs> a tiny microchip the size of a postcard. You, sir, are insane! And I'm going to leave it here for this part, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, and have fun.